What's up guys, Vegas Ranger. I'm back again with another video and today's video is going to be about home defense. Um, recently I saw a video on YouTube about what firearm is best for home defense and the video I was watching, the guy put it very clear and he was spot on. This is if someone's breaking into your house. This is also if someone's breaking into your house. Kicking in a door, breaking a window, coming in through the doggy door. And this is if you have to clear your house. If you're in bed sleeping, you hear a window break, your door being kicked in, and you need to clear your house, you need one of these. Don't forget, this is called a handgun. It's not called a hands gun. It's meant to be held with one hand. You know how hard it is to hold this AR-15 up with one hand while you're trying to open a door with your other hand? I mean, if I stick my hand out, it's just a little bit past the tip of the rifle. When you open up a door, this rifle is gonna be really close to the entrance of the door. When you're clearing your house with a rifle, you come around corners, if someone's hiding in the corner or behind a corner, they can grab the barrel of your gun and now the fight is on for your gun. With a handgun, I'm not going to be coming around the corners with my arms extended like this because one, it can be grabbed. I'm keeping it close to my body. I got my arm, my forearm braced up against my rib cage. I got the gun slightly canted for comfort and I can op open up doors. I can, I can clear half the room or more than half the room by just opening up the door and looking. You know, you see a lot of movies and you see a lot of video games, you know, special forces, you know, coming around like this, you know, um, half stepping. There's a reason why, you know, they do that is because they're in teams and that's why they have a breacher. So they're carrying rifles, someone to open the door for them. Someone opens the door for them, they can be in a safe position behind a door jam, and they can look before they enter. It's okay to look inside a room first before you enter it. And plus, they're with a team. They're with more than one guy. You know, the department I worked for, it was policy that before entering a house, you had to have three officers, unless of course somebody was dying, but you had to have three officers to clear a house. And you clear a house, you're, you're not separating, you're staying together. And someone's opening the door for the other two officers. The breacher opens the door, the other officers look, tell each other what they see, then they enter as a team, all three of them. So the video that I saw, I wish I had remembered the person's uh, YouTube channel but the guy was absolutely right you need to clear your house you need a handgun and don't forget you need a light always have a light one so you can see you're gonna have to identify the person who you're you're targeting you can't just fire into the dark at a shadow you don't know who that person is could be a family member. Someone could jump out and startle you. You need a flashlight. Either a flashlight in hand or a flashlight on your weapon. I have one on my gun, but I prefer to have a flashlight in my hand. And this is pretty much my backup flashlight. I hold one in my hands because when you turn this on, it's a beacon that says, here I am. They know exactly where you are. If I have a handheld flashlight, let me get that. If I have a handheld flashlight, right, I can be out here shining my light. That way, if they're going to shoot, they're going to shoot at the light. They're going to shoot away from my body, and I can return fire here. So I prefer to have a flashlight in hand versus a flashlight on my gun. Or another method is 
right, the, the LAPD method, which is fine. I mean, as long as you have a light, it's just going to be your preference. LAPD method, FBI method. I prefer the FBI method, holding the light away from my body so that I'm not a beacon for gunfire. Uh, Vegas Ranger, if you like uh, the video, if you like what I'm talking about, what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Please like, comment, tell me what you like and don't like about my way of doing things. See you in the next video.